10. Was Jesus a Christian or a Muslim? Part 1. Preface. You may ask yourself the following questions. 1. Am I a true follower of Jesus Christ? 2. Am I really looking for truth, or am I truth's enemy? 3. Was Jesus Christ a Christian or a Muslim? I have attempted to provide consolidated information from resourceful books and websites and arrange them in summarized comparative tables in a straightforward manner. I appeal to the reader to examine this book with an unbiased mind and open heart to the truth because this is the only way that may lead to the right decision that shapes one's life in this world. And the world to come. Introduction Christ is derived from the ancient Greek, expirog, Christos, meaning anointed, which is a translation of the Hebrew and UN, Maya, the Messiah, and is used as a title for Jesus. The word Christian simply means a follower of Christ or Christian. Islam means complete and perfect peaceful submission to the will of Almighty God. The word Muslim simply means a person who submits his will to Almighty God. Jesus may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him said. Think not that I am come to destroy the law, or the prophets, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Matthew 5, 17-18 He said to them, This is what I told you while I was still with you, everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms. Luke 2400 44 Jesus, peace be upon him, did not have the authority to abrogate the law. He only had the authority to fulfill, reaffirm, clarify and apply it to new or specific situations. Comparison The way of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Following the earlier prophets and fulfilling their laws. One purity. Ablution before prayer. Moses and Aaron made ablution before prayer, they washed their hands and feet whenever they entered the tent of meeting or approached altar for prayer. This was a divine command, Exodus 40, 31 32. David, Psalm 26, 6, 2 Samuel 12, 20. Jesus, peace be upon him, did not oppose ablution before prayer. It was mentioned in James 4 8, Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts. Jesus carefully followed and fulfilled this law because it was a divine command. Christian's Way. Christians do not make ablution before praying in their churches. Christians do not wash their hands and feet before they pray as commanded by Almighty God. Christians do not follow the law fulfilled by Jesus. Muslims way. Muslims make ablution before praying in their mosques, Muslims wash their hands, feet, face, etc. The Noble Quran, 5-6 O you who believe in Allah, follow his messenger, and practice his laws, when you intend to stand up to offer the prayer and you are in the state of minor ritual impurity. Then perform ablution by washing your faces and then your hands together with the elbows, then wiping your heads and finally washing your feet together with the ankles. If you are in the state of major ritual impurity, then take a full bath. If you are sick and you fear that the sickness will get worse or the healing will be delayed, or if you are on a journey even though you are not sick. Or if you are in the state of minor ritual impurity, such as after going to the toilet, or in a state of major ritual impurity, such as after having had sexual intercourse. And you do not find water to purify yourselves with, despite having searched for it. Then make use of the ground by striking it with your hands and then wiping over your faces and then wiping your hands with it. Allah does not wish to make the laws difficult for you by forcing you to use water that may lead to harm or difficulty. He has therefore given you a substitute when this is not possible due to sickness or the lack of water. This is a completion of his favor on you, so that you give thanks for such favor and are not ungrateful. Uthman ibn Affan, may Allah be pleased with him, stated that the Prophet Muhammad Dash, PBUH, said, he who performed ablution well, his sins would come out from his body. even coming out from under his nails. Sahih Muslim Was Jesus a Christian? No. Was Jesus a Muslim? Yes. Comparison The Way of Jesus Christ Following the earlier prophets and fulfilling their laws. 2. Putting off the shoes before praying. Moses, peace be upon him, received the divine command to put off his sandals, shoes, before entering and praying on the holy ground, Exodus 3 5, and Acts 7 33. Jesus, peace be upon him, carefully followed and fulfilled this law because it was a divine command. Christian's Way 
Christians do not put off their shoes before entering and praying in their churches. Christians do not follow the law fulfilled by Jesus. Muslims way. Muslims put off their shoes before entering and praying in their mosque. The Noble Quran, 20 colon 11 12. When he came to the fire, Allah, may he be glorified, called out to him saying, O Moses, I am your Lord. Take off your shoes in preparation for your conversation with me. You are in the purified valley of Tuwa. Was Jesus a Christian? No. Was Jesus a Muslim? Yes. Comparison The way of Jesus Christ Following the earlier prophets and fulfilling their laws Three precise times for daily prayer The biblical times of prayer are evening, morning, and at noon, Psalm 55, 17. Even several prayers can be situated within these three times, it was stated in Psalm 119. 164, seven times a day do I praise you. The early morning dawn prayer was mentioned in the Aramaic Bible in plain English, Psalms 5-3, before dawn prayer, Psalms.119-147. Prayer at midnight sad smiley Psalms.119-62. There are precise times for prayer, Psalm 32-6, Psalm 69-13. It was obviously unacceptable, according to David, to neglect the proper times of prayer. Jesus carefully followed and fulfilled this law. Christian's Ways Many Christians observe a more informal pattern of morning and evening prayers, blessing or prayer before meals, this type of informality lacks the precision and repetition. Christians do not follow the law fulfilled by Jesus. Muslims Way Muslims must regularly pray five times a day at precise times, each prayer requires about five to ten minutes. These five prayers occur at precise times. 1. Dawn 2. Afternoon 3. Later afternoon 4. Following sunset. 5. And night. There are also other optional prayers. The Noble Quran, 20 colon 132, 7 colon 205, 33 colon 42, comma, 48 colon 9, 76 colon 25, 2400 hours 58, 52 colon 49, 17 colon 78, comma, 11 colon 114, 20 colon 130. And order your family, O messenger, to perform prayer, and you also remain constant in its performance. I do not ask you for your own sustenance or that of others, I will take care of your sustenance. The praiseworthy outcome in this world and the afterlife is for the pious who fear Allah, carrying out his commands and refraining from his prohibitions. Taha, 132. And remember Allah your Lord, humbly, with lowliness before him, and with fear and awe. Call upon him in a moderate manner, not too loudly, at the beginning and end of the day, because of the special qualities of these times. And do not be among those who neglect a remembrance of Allah the Exalted. al -A -I -F, 205 And exalt him by glorifying him, saying Supanallah, and proclaiming his oneness, Allah with Makron Ilhar Alol, at the start and the end of the day. Because of their virtue and the ease in remembering Allah through them. al 42 in the hope that you have faith in Allah and have faith in his messenger, and you revere and honor his messenger, and that you glorify Allah at the beginning and at the end of the day. Al-Fath, 9 And remember your Lord by performing the Fajr prayer at the starting of the day, and the Zua, and Ayasar prayers at its end. al 25 O oh, those who have faith in Allah and act upon the laws set for them. Your free immature children, male servants and female servants should seek permission from you thrice, at three times before the morning prayer at the time of changing from nightwear into daily clothes. In the afternoon when changing clothes for the siesta, and after the night prayer because it is the time when you remove your daywear and change into your nightwear. These are three times of privacy for you, they should not enter your rooms except after taking permission from you. Apart from these times, there is no harm in them entering your rooms nor you entering theirs. because you frequently have to move around one another, and so it would be an inconvenience to prevent them from entering except with permission. Just as Allah has made the rulings of seeking permission clear to you, He also makes clear the verses that show the rulings He has laid down for you. Allah is ever aware of the requirements of His servants, wise in whatever laws He passes for them. And no. 58. And at night, glorify your Lord and pray to Him, and pray the Fajr prayer after the stars have set you to daylight. At TUR, 49. 
Establish the prayer by performing it in the most complete manner in its times. Which are the declining of the sun from the middle of the sky, and this includes the Zua and Asa prayers, until the darkness of night, and this includes the Maghreb and Isha prayers. And establish the Fajr prayer and lengthen the recitation therein, as the Fajr prayer is attended by the angels of night and the angels of day. al Isra 78 Maintain, O Messenger, the prayer in the best manner at the two ends of the day, at the beginning and end of the day. Also, maintain the prayer during the hours of the night. Good actions wipe out minor sins. This is a warning for those who pay attention and a lesson for those who accept. HUD 114 So be patient, O Messenger, on the false things those who disbelieve in you say about you. Glorify and praise your Lord in the Fajr prayer before sunrise, in the Asr prayer before sunset, in the hours of night, in the Maghrib and Isha prayers. And in the Zua prayer just after the zenith, which is the end of the first part of the day and the beginning of the second part. In the hope of attaining reward with Allah which he will be pleased with. Toha, 130. Was Jesus a Christian? No. Was Jesus a Muslim? Yes. Comparison. The way of Jesus Christ. Following the earlier prophets and fulfilling their laws. 4. Prayer toward a particular direction. Jerusalem and Kaaba in Mecca. David worshipped Almighty God toward the direction of the Holy Temple, Psalm 57, Psalm 138. 2. According to Gill's exposition of the entire Bible, not the Temple at Jerusalem, which was not yet built, but rather the Tabernacle of Moses, in which was the Ark. However, the Tabernacle of Moses was not a holy temple, then the question is, what was the other holy temple that David prayed toward its direction? Solomon prayed toward the direction of the Holy Temple in Jerusalem Sat Smiley 2. Chronicles.6 21, comma, Daniel, Daniel 6.10, Jonah, Jonah 2.7. At the time of Jesus, peace be upon him, the direction of prayer was toward Jerusalem, John 4, 20-21. Jesus said that the true worshippers will worship God in spirit and truth, John 4. 23-24, which means they will be sincere in their worship, it does not mean that they will worship God in any direction. Jesus carefully followed the earlier prophets and prayed toward the direction of the Holy Temple. Christian's Way Early churches were built so that the direction of the assembly faced east as a symbol of Christ, the rising sun. It was also common to pray facing Jerusalem. Later Christians prayed in any direction. Christians do not follow Jesus and do not pray toward a particular direction. Muslim's Way the early Muslims prayed toward the direction of Jerusalem for a short time. Then Almighty God, Allah, instructed the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to change the direction of prayer and pray toward the direction of the Holy Mosque Kaaba in Mecca, Mecca. The Noble Quran, 2 144. God saw you, O Prophet, turning your face and gazing towards the heavens, anticipating revelation about changing the direction of prayer to the place you loved. God will turn you to a prayer direction which you will be pleased with, to the sacred house of God, instead of the prayer direction you now face. So turn your face to the sacred house of God in Mecca, and wherever you are, O believers, turn towards it to perform your prayers. Those who have been given the scripture, the Jews and the Christians, know well that the change of prayer direction is the truth revealed from their Creator who arranges and manages their lives. As it is, cl as it is clear in their scripture, God is not unaware of what those who turn away from the truth do. He, glory be to him, is aware of everything and will reward them according to their actions. Was Jesus a Christian? No. Was Jesus a Muslim? Yes. Comparison The Way of Jesus Christ, PBUH, following the earlier prophets and fulfilling their laws. 5. Prostration with the forehead on the earth. The earlier prophets and their followers prostrated in prayer, they bowed with their faces touching the ground, Abraham, Genesis 17 3, comma, Genesis 17 17, Moses and Aaron, Exodus 34 colon 8, comma, Numbers 16. 22, Numbers 26, Joshua, Joshua 5 14, comma, Joshua 7 6, Elijah, 1 Kings 18 42, David, Psalm 22 colon 29, 1 Samuel 20 41, after Solomon finished prayer, 2 Chronicles 7 3, during the prayer of Ezra. Nehemiah 8 6, The Holy Angels, Revelation 7 11. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, never invited people to worship him instead of God, or as God, or as Son of God.
This law was stated very clearly in Numbers 23, 19. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. God is not a man, said Smiley 1 Samuel 15, 29, Hosea 11, 9. Jesus carefully followed and fulfilled this law and bowed with his face touching the ground and prayed to Almighty God, Matthew 26, 39, Mark 14, 35. The disciples of Jesus did the same, Matthew 17. 6. Christian's Way Christians kneeled down in front of the cross, clasping their hands in prayer, they performed the sign of the cross by tracing a large cross from forehead to chest and then shoulder to shoulder. This performance can't be ascribed to Jesus. Christians do not bow with their faces touching the ground, they do not prostrate with their foreheads on the earth. Christians do not follow the same worshipping way of Jesus. Muslims way. Muslims prostrate in prayer, they bow with their faces touching the ground during their daily prayers. The Noble Quran, 22 colon 77, 7 colon 206, 13 15, comma, 17 colon 109, 1958, 25 colon 60, 96 colon 19, comma, 32 colon 15, 38 colon 24, 53 colon 62, comma, 76 colon 26. O you who have believed in Allah and have acted in accordance to the laws he laid down for you. Bow and prostrate to him alone in your prayer, do good by way of charity and in joining family ties in hope that you succeed in your objective and achieve salvation from the feared. Al Hajj, 77. The angels who are with your Lord are never too proud to worship him, glory be to him. Rather, they devote themselves to worship with dedication, never tiring, glorifying him day and night, and prostrating to him. Al Aif, 206. All that are in the heavens and on earth submit themselves in prostration to Allah alone. A believer and disbeliever are equal in this, except that a believer submits and prostrates to him willingly. While a disbeliever unwillingly submits even though his natural disposition dictates that he should do so willingly. The shadow of every creation that has a shadow submits to him at the beginning and at the end of the day. Arad, 15. And they fall on their faces, prostrating to Allah and crying out of his fear. And listening to the Quran and contemplating its meanings increases them in submission to Allah and fearing him. al Isra 109. Those who are mentioned in this surah, beginning with Zechariah and ending with Idris, peace be upon them, are the ones whom Allah blessed with prophethood. From the children of Adam, peace be upon him, and from the children of those whom I carried in the ark with Noah, peace be upon him. And from the children of Abraham and the children of Jacob, peace be upon them, and from those whom I blessed with guidance to Islam and whom I chose and made prophets. When they heard the verses of Allah being recited, they prostrated to Allah, weeping out of his fear. Mariam, 58. When it is said to the disbelievers, prostrate to the merciful, they say, we will not prostrate to the merciful. What is the merciful? We do not know or acknowledge him. Should we prostrate to what you tell us when we do not know him? His instruction to them to prostrate to him only puts them further away from having faith in Allah. al 60 It is not as this oppressor thinks that he can cause any harm to you. So do not follow him in command or prohibition, rather, prostrate to Allah and draw closer to him through acts of obedience, because that is how you can draw closer to him. al Alaq 19 Only those people believe in my verses revealed to my messenger who, when they are reminded of them prostrate to Allah glorifying him together with praising him. They are not arrogant from worshipping him nor prostrating to him in any condition. as Sajda, 15. Then David judged between them and addressed the claimant, saying, Your brother has wronged you when he asked you to add your you to his use. And many partners oppress one another by taking their rights and not being fair, except the believers who do good actions, for they are fair with their partners and do not wrong them. But those attributed with that are few. And David, peace be upon him, was convinced that I only put him to test through this dispute, so he sought forgiveness from his Lord and prostrated to get close to him, and repented to him. Sad, 24. So prostrate to Allah alone, and dedicate your worship to him. In Najman, 62. And remember him by performing the two prayers of the night, the Maghrib and Ish prayers, together with performing Tahajjad after them. al 26. Is one who is obedient to Allah, spending the time at night in prostration to his Lord and standing for him. Fearing the punishment of the afterlife and hoping in the mercy of his Lord better, or that disbeliever who worships Allah in hardship but disbelieves in him in ease and ascribes parters with him. 
O Messenger, say, are those who know what Allah has made obligatory upon them due to their understanding of Allah and those who do not know any of this equal? Only people of sound intelligence recognize the difference between the two. Az Zuma, 9. Was Jesus a Christian? No. Was Jesus a Muslim? Yes.